Would my life be better if I were thinner? Yes, you would. One of the reasons is you wouldn't take up as much space, you know, in, in a uh, bus ride or a train ride or even, a, you know, a car ride. Another thing is, is that you'll be a lot more healthier compared to being fucking obese as hell. Me? I'm a bit chubby myself. Let's just, just, just look at me. This? This fat? I'm a bit chubby myself. But you know what? I at least attempt to, you know, be a bit healthy by, you know, walking every now and then. You know, doing a little bit of push-ups here and there. I am no goddamn Hercules, but I at least not fucking lazy as hell. No. Ah, I see. Another one of those fat pride videos. Well, and well ahoy! But it would be better if I wasn't treated so poorly because I'm not. Expect people to find you attractive? Is that what you're saying? I remember when I was 10, I wanted to be a singer, and I remember a family member telling me, sorry, kid, you know, it's not gonna happen for you. Well, you were 10 years old, so I could sort of see why, but I'm guessing it's not due to the fact that you have a very terrible singing voice at that time, but rather it has to do something with your weight. And don't get me wrong, fat people can sing, but... Talent is nothing when you're fucking obese as hell. Alright, but alright, you know, no. Fat doesn't equal healthy. I've never been thin. As the fifth grader called Hippo, uh, that was a very scary thing for me and something that I was spending my entire life trying to change. That's nothing. Try my fucking childhood. You know, you want to know what my best friend was between 6th um, grade and 8th grade? My PS2. I, I was not like every other kid. I had to be watched. I had to be, you know, um, protected. And you know, I, I, I was treated like shit. I was nothing more than a fucking joke. Yeah, you think your childhood is tough? Try mine. In high school, I was one of those girls who was like, I would be so much prettier if I were thin. If I could just reach that one last level, my life would be perfect. Mm, well, you would be able to be a bit more healthier if you actually lose a little bit of weight. There's nothing wrong with losing a bit of weight. The problem is, is that you're promoting, well, obesity. L let's admit it, this video is all about obesity. I was a target. <laughs> For people to make fun of. You know bash I didn't know what was wrong with me like why was I so different uh, okay let me explain your face looks like it's eating itself I mean Jesus fucking Christ I seen some pretty fucking ugly fat people but yo you take the cake lady just don't eat the cake please 
You need to lose weight. It's for your own fucking good. I should have put a fucking trigger warning from the very beginning of this video because... I mean, Jesus fucking Christ! Imagine the likes of Undoom or uh, uh, Dr. Random McCann want to look at you. They would make fun of you so goddamn badly. Like, half the insults that I'm making right now is nothing compared what they're gonna do to you. I don't really give a fine fuck on how good this person is as a tailor. She looks like the great fucking pumpkin. <sighs> and the worst part is, you know, if she were to, you know, not dye her hair or, you know, dye her lips in that putrid color, that's fine, but she actually did it. She looks fucking terrifying. Like, I wouldn't want to be near her at all. It's just a fucking nightmare. I just can't stand her. Yeah, definitely there is like the stereotype of yoga where you have to be like kind of like the skinny, perfect body, bleach bond. Flexible or not, you're still fucking fat. Yes, you can perform yoga, but you know, it doesn't really negate the fact that you're fucking obese as hell. Hell, I bet you're twice as much as I am and I weigh around 200 pounds. Which kind of woman, I definitely am not that. Okay, I'll give you credibility when it's due. You're more flexible than I am, but you're still fat, unhealthy. We're countering a lifetime of learned hatred. You can't love your body for what you hope it turns into without actively loving it for what it is today. Oh, well, if you want, you can love your body as much as you want, but does it really change the fact that you're fucking obese as hell? Me, I'm not very comfortable with my own body. I'm a bit insecure, considering that I'm a bit fat. I want to lose a little bit of weight so that way I can fit into my own pants. I don't want to be fucking muscular as hell. I just want to fit into my old pants. So, what I plan to do is that when I save up enough money, I will go to the gym and, you know, go on a diet, um, fucking work out and shit. Because, you know, it's good to at least lose a little bit of weight. You know, all you're doing is dragging extra weight that you don't really need. It's unnecessary. And yet you got to convince yourself that, you, that you're pretty, that you are perfect the way you are. The only person who should be defining me is me. Define you as a giant land whale. Jesus fucking Christ, you, you, you look like, you know, your, your whole body is at war with your head. Do it. <laughs> fat girls can do whatever they want. There's my book! Where's the fat men? You know, it's not only women who can get fat. You know, men hold up half the sky, you know. Especially those who are fucking fat. You can do yoga, you can do rock climbing. Fat girls can run, fat girls can dance. Fat girls can sing, fat girls can dance. But you know what? That's nothing. Because, you know, being fat is not healthy. I don't know how many times I have to say this, but being fat is not fucking healthy. No one should look up to being fucking obese as hell. Fat girls can have amazing jobs. Are you ready for your jacket? It's gonna be really cool. <coughs> oh, sorry, I out of breath. We can walk runways, we can be on the cover of magazines, wear stripes, bright colors. I thought I couldn't wear a bikini. I can. Oh, I want to see you in a bikini. <laughs> I see too many fat people at the beach already. <laughs> Please don't. I'm gonna love it. We're not shy, we're not trying to hide. I am beautiful, I am sexy, I am everything. I, 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 I just can't describe you. You're not sexy. You're 
terrifying. If I had kids and they and I were to show them this video, they would cry. <laughs> How do I describe you? Um, imagine Trigglypuff, but you know, much older, and her hair was dyed by Twilight Sparkle's fur. <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare. I just can't. I just can't do it, people. <laughs> Jesus, please, end this fucking planet already. So that way I don't have to make any more videos like this. <laughs> There's no ignoring this when it walks in the door. It's very difficult not to look at you. Because... Damn, you're fat. Like, not attractive fat, but like, hideously unhealthy fat. It's a fucking nightmare. I just don't know. I just don't know. What am I doing in my life? I, I, just, I just don't know anymore. <laughs> That's a pretty powerful thing for me. Especially when you've been taught your entire life that you need to hide or shrink or disappear. I agree with them. You need to shrink. Like, shrink out of existence. Even if I lost 100 pounds tomorrow, I would still be Gabby Fresh. I would still be the same person I am now. You would be a little bit healthier. You would, you know, not take as much space as you were a fat. You would be, you know, someone to look up to. Being able to lose all that fat. Instead, you're just saying, uh, you know, fuck losing weight. You know, we gotta gain more weight and shit. My size isn't an indicator of my worth. <laughs> the bodies don't need to change. The attitude does. In other words, these people don't want to lose weight. Instead, they want to gain more weight, so that way society bends over backwards for them. Expect them to be more accepting towards them. To make, you know, special rules for them. Because, you know, they're fat. I can take your... I've spent so many years feeling uncomfortable in my own skin. <laughs> it's time for me to be happy. You're totally okay with the fact that your own body looks like it's eating its own head. Yeah, I got nothing else. And never have to look back. So go out in a bikini to the beach, go travel around the world. Just don't sit on any children. Trust me, they'll die from your fat. Hit on that guy you think is cute. You can be confident and feel good in your skin right now. Behind the scenes about... It's really up to us to change the narrative and to share photos of ourselves, follow each other, and show each other that this is what women look like. No, no, no. It's not what women look like. It's what obese people look like. And obese people like yourself are fucking narcissistic pieces of shit. You know what women look like? Normal. Average size. Skinny. They can even be fat, muscular. But that's not every goddamn woman. Every woman has their own goddamn shape. You do not define on what it is to be a woman. You only define on what it is to be fat and narcissistic. There you go. We are breaking the internet. <laughs> like, that's what we want to do. Let's You're totally breaking the internet by showing how goddamn pathetic you are. This is so goddamn unbelievably cringe-worthy. You should go on the cringe channel. They'll do something a little bit more productive than what you ladies are doing. And seriously, that's fucking sad that you're placing post-it notes on your goddamn mirror. Like, really? Is, is, is that a thing now? The place posting notes saying that you can do it. You can do this shit. It's unbelievable. This shit is incredibly fucking stupid. 
Loving yourself is not a destination, it's a journey. <laughs> Pretty convinced that that's what a narcissist would say. I am Jess Baker. I'm Mary Lambert. I am Gabby Fresh. <laughs> I am Valerie Sagoon. I am Ashley Knowlton. It's hard to believe that JCPenney, out of all the stores in the world, would promote this shit. JC fucking Penny. So, you know what? To you ladies, all I have to say is. You are a sad bunch of narcissistic pieces of shit. And you know what? At least I'm not you. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer, and keep gaming on.